Um, okay, cool. So, question only three. Um, uh, this is from Eva via Twitter. Um, she says, I'm playing with a group of musicians. I write the songs, but they help me arrange. So, should I go for a solo artist name, band name, or a sort of fusion of the two? Mm. Mm. So, you get lots and lots of singers that start working with musicians and then think, well, I'm kind of the artist. It's kind of me, but I'm starting to actually form this kind of lasting relationship with musicians and then you're in this kind of limbo of am I a solo artist or am I in a band mm. and you know there's definitely pros and cons of both but one thing I'd say between being an artist and being in a band is it's the same thing as starting a business as a solopreneur and starting a business with a group of people of which I've done both and there's pros and cons to both there is something magical when you have a day like I've had today where you can just go and talk to someone and you can just say blah <laughs> and and they understand it and they get it um, but there is also something magical about saying I am 100% in control of this mm. and I believe in myself and so therefore this is me and mine and I need nobody else so there are definitely pros and cons and what I would do is is if you are an artist if you are a singer songwriter and you are in that position I probably look at your strength and your skill set and what it is that you want to achieve because there is nothing wrong with a really great support network but if you go it along if you go it alone as that solo artist or as a solo entrepreneur solopreneur then you can't expect people to have your back you just can't because they are more hired hands if it's their band and they they feel like a part of it just like a business and you know like a percentage point then all of a sudden you're going to get more out of it nobody will ever care more about about the business or the band than the person who started it and set up. They're always going to be the closest to it. So I would look at, I, I would say for, for Eva, I would, I would look at your skill set. And if you say, it's me, it's mine, this is my thing. And I want these people involved in it, but I make the decisions, I make the choices, I'm the one who actually does everything, then then I, would, I, would, I wouldn't be scared of running away from that being the solo artist. But you can still tie people in. You can still say, look, I'm the solo artist. I mean, if you look at people like Bruce Springsteen and Brian Adams, they've had the same musicians for yeah. 40 years. Yeah, so know. many people. Like yeah, band, Lenny Kravitz's yeah. band. Like, they've just been there for years. So, you know, it's still, it, you can still tie people in. You can still tie people down and, and, and people want to be part of that winning team. But it... I think it's what feels right. I think you need to look at yourself and just say, I really want this to be me and my mate. I want it to be mm. us. And if you're thinking, I want it to be us, I want it to be us up there, then that probably answers your question. And if you're thinking, man, if you go, that's fine. I ain't stopping, I'm taking this on my own. Then you think, well, that's possibly a bit more solo artist. Yeah. So I think it does depend on you as a person, but it does crop up a lot, this. Mm. It crops up where people are in this kind of limbo of I'm not sure. So I think you've got to go with your gut. but. Some people are just born solo people, solo artists. Yeah, I suppose it just comes down to your personal kind of wants for mm. your career. Yeah, okay. 